Welcome to my tutorial. If you are new, you're welcome. And if you're old, you're super, super welcome. Today's video, I will discuss two way a two factor end over without replication. Before we go on, please do well to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you. Challenge on the board says an experiment was carried out to test the effect of four different training methods on increasing mental ability of children. Each training method was given to one group of five children. The four groups of children were matched to age and sex. It says, suggest the test hypothesis. Write the no and the alternative hypothesis. B says, test whether the four methods of training differ significantly with each other. The table here shows four different training methods. We have A, B, C, D. In association with the groups of children, we have group 1 to 5. The table here is a good example of randomized block ANOVA without replicate. A part of the question says, suggest the test hypothesis. Looking at our table here, we could see that we are dealing with four samples A, B, C, D. One sample A62, we use the F test. Create a column for the square of each training method. This is a column for the square of training method A, column for the square of training method B, column for the square of training method C, column for the square of training method D. Sum each training methods. For training method A, we have 15 plus this, plus this plus this, lastly plus this, 12 plus 17 plus this, plus this, plus this, 10 plus 15 plus this, plus this, plus this, 14 plus 20 plus this, plus this, plus this. Determine the number of observations of each training method. So we represent that with small letter n. We could get that by count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So each of the training methods have 5 observations. Sum each of the groups. Remember we have five groups. Group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4, group 5. First row we have 15 plus 12 plus 10 plus 14. 51 here. Second group 20 plus this plus this plus this. For the third group we have 16 plus this plus this plus this. Fourth group we have 19 plus 18 plus this plus this. Last group we have 19 plus 16 plus this plus this. Determine number of observations of each group. We represent that with n. First group we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Also for the rest of the groups, write. Calculate the grand total. To calculate the grand total, add this plus this plus this plus this. Or this plus this plus this plus this plus this. We represent that with this symbol here and that gives 309. Square each method and determine the sum. First column 15 square, 20 square, 16 square. Okay, 19 square again gives 361. For the second method 12 square, 17 square, 11 square, 18 square. Lastly 16 square, 10 square. 1, 0, 0, 15 square, 12 square, 14 square, 14 square again, 14 square, 20 square, 16 square, 18 square, lastly 13 square, 1, 6, 9. Remember we are asked to sum up these values. So we are expected to sum both the columns and the rows. First column, this value plus this, plus this, plus this, lastly plus this. Gives 1603, 144 plus this, plus this, plus this, lastly plus this. Next we have 100 plus this, plus this, plus this, lastly plus this. 196 plus this, plus this, plus this, lastly plus this. First group, 225 plus this, plus this, plus this. Next we have 400 plus this, plus this, plus this. For the third row or third group, we have this value plus this, plus this, plus this. Fourth group, we have 361 plus this, plus this, plus this. Last row or group, we have 361 plus this, plus this, lastly plus this. Gives this value here. Determine the grand total. We represent that with this symbol here. We get that either by adding up all the values of the squares in the rows, or adding up all the values of the squares in the column. This plus this plus this plus this plus this gives 
uh, this plus this plus this plus this also give this value here. Let's rearrange all this data here. These are values of the calculations we've made so far. Values gotten from the columns or the methods of training and the values of the groups are rows. Determine the mean for each method of training and the mean for each group. We represent mean with this symbol here. For the first method of training, the mean will be this value divided by this value here, 17.8. Mean for the second method will be this value divided by 5. For the last method, we have 81 divided by 5, 16.2 here. Let's also proceed to getting the means for each group. For the first group, the mean will be 51 divided by 4 gives this value. Mean for second group will be 72 divided by 4. Third group, this value divided by 4. Group 4, this value divided by 4. Last group, this value divided by 4. Square each method of training in each group and divide by n. We represent that with this symbol here. First method of training will be 89 square over 5. That is this value divided by 5. 89 square gives this value divided by 5. Second method, 74 square divided by 5. Third method, 65 square divided by 5. First method, 81 square divided by 5. Let's also consider the square of each of the groups and divide by n. First group will be 51 square divided by 4. Square of 51 gives this value here, divide by 4. Gives this value here, 72 square divided by 4. Third group, 55 square divided by 4. 69 square divided by 4. First group, 62 square divided by 4. Determine the grand total for each of this. Present that with this symbol here. Grand total for all the methods will be this value plus this, plus this, plus this. Gives this value. Grand total for the groups will be this value plus this, plus this, plus this, lastly plus this. Gives this value here. Calculate total observations. We represent total observations with n. Remember we have four methods. Method A, method B, method C, and D. Times five groups. Group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4, group 5. So 4 times 5 gives 20. Total observations is 20. Calculate total degrees of freedom. Total degree of freedom is represented with TDF. And the formula is n minus 1. Remember our n value is 20 minus 1. Gives 19. So we record this value in our summary table. Total degree of freedom. Calculate methods of training degrees of freedom. We have four methods of training. A, B, C, D. Method of training degree of freedom will be 4 minus 1, which is 3. Methods degree of freedom. Calculate group degrees of freedom. Remember we have five groups. Group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Group degree of freedom will be 5 minus 1, which is 4. Groups degrees of freedom, 4. Calculate error degree of freedom. Error degree of freedom equal methods degree of freedom which gave 3 times group degree of freedom 4. 3 times 4 gives 12. Write the hypothesis. Now hypothesis states that the four methods of training does not differ significantly with each other. That is the mean method of training for A is equal to mean method of training for B, also equal to mean method of training for C, and the mean method of training for D. Why the alternative hypothesis states that the four methods of training differ significantly with each other? Calculate correction factor. CF equal the square of this value here divide by this value here gives this value here. Calculate total sum of squares. Total sum of squares equals this value here minus correction factor. So we record this in our ANOVA summary table. Total sum of squares. Calculate methods of training sum of squares equal this value here minus correction factor value. Method sum of squares. Calculate group sum of squares. Group sum of squares will be this value minus Correction factor value. Group sum of squares. Calculate error sum of squares. Error sum of squares equal total sum of squares minus method sum of square minus group sum of squares. Gives this value here. Error sum of squares. Calculate methods of training mean of squares. Methods of training mean of squares equal methods of training sum of squares divided by methods of training degree of freedom. And that gives 20.85 methods mean of squares. Calculate error mean of squares. Error mean of squares equal error sum of squares divided by error degree of freedom. Error mean of squares. Calculate f value. F value is methods of training mean of squares 
divided by error mean of squares. Check for f critical. This is our f distribution table with degree of freedom 3 and we are looking at alpha as 0 0.05 and degree of freedom of error is 12. So we trace it then to 12. So the value is 3.49. Reject or accept null? So we reject null because the f value is greater than the f critical. B part of the question says test whether the four methods of training differ significantly with each other. Based on the fact that we rejected no, our conclusion will be that the four methods of training differ significantly with each other at p less than 0.05. I hope this video helps. Please stay tuned for the next video where we discuss repeated measure design. Do well to like this video, leave a comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.